Hey guys, it's Chris from the Ultimate Recycler. I'm out in my backyard at the moment and this video is about a worm test. I'm going to do a little test in this spot here, which I've used before. In fact, I think there's still some remnants of some watermelon in there. And what are we going to test this time? Well, look at this. A pair of jeans. Well, they're half a pair of jeans. They're actually jean shorts, but I think they've been cut off. They just come in a bag of fabric we got from a house deal. Uh, but it's a good chance to see if worms will eat denim. Now, I looked at the tag, and they're relatively modern jeans. You can get a focus on that. Um, I think it says somewhere that oh, they're Fossies, which was a chain store. I don't know if they're anywhere else, but in Australia, I don't even know if they're still going. But I think it says um, all cotton somewhere. But then again, the stitching may be polyester. And also we've obviously got the zip and the button. But still, it'll be an interesting test to see if the worms will eat denim. So let's get this test set up. We'll get these jeans out of the road for now. We'll peel back this old bedspread that I used to keep this spot damp. And it's quite heavy. It's been raining today, so um, it's a bit overcast. And that bedspread has soaked up a lot of moisture all right let's see what's under these carpet mats oh there's still some watermelon here it hasn't been in here that long actually and it feels like it's only the shell look at that i did a, a worm test on watermelon just a little while ago in fact i also gave uh probably about a thousand worms to my son and his partner steve and jess uh for their garden and i baited with the watermelon and i just grabbed a couple of huge handfuls of worms and they're now residing in another town so and there's another one over here and there's not much left here either it's just the the skin left and again plenty of worm activity so we know there's lots of worms here perfect chance to apply a denim sample uh, it's going to soak up some moisture from the ground that's quite wet here and i think we are supposed to get a bit more rain I might just spray the hose over that and dampen them down then I'll put the carpet back and I would imagine it's going to take a while for any activity to happen we'll leave it two weeks I think because it is we're just in the start of winter here or almost and it's getting quite cold uh, which does slow up the worm activity so we'll give it two weeks we'll come back and check and just see how they've gone with the denim okay guys it's been two weeks I hope you've had a good couple of weeks uh, a lot's changed here in Australia in the last few days. Well, in Victoria, at least, we're back into COVID lockdown again. Just when we thought we had everything under control. But, you know, you never know what's around the corner these days. Are the worms? Well, there's worms over the top of it. And it's certainly nice and damp now. So I can't see any signs of actual holes forming. But, look, fabric's going to take a while. Um... The good thing is that the worms aren't running away. There appears to be no issues. But this test is going to be quite long term. And because it's got quite cold now, as I mentioned just earlier, it does slow up productivity of the worms. But there's certainly plenty there. So look, we'll leave this, maybe we'll leave it a month. I'm not going to just check it each couple of weeks to find the same sample just sitting there. So we'll give it a month. See if there's any decaying start to happen, any holes. Oh, there's plenty of worms under there. They're probably in the pockets and everywhere. Anyway, we'll check back in a month and see what's going on then. Let's do an update on this denim test. I've actually left it three months since you last, um, well, since I last spoke to you. It's only been a few seconds for you guys. Um, it's been quite a cold, wet winter and I've just kind of left it because it's been so cold. Um, there's still plenty of worms in here. There's some residual red berries from that tree. But there should be some activity on the jeans now. Let's see. Oh, there you go. Look at that. They've gone right through that. So it's going to start breaking down very quickly now, I would imagine. But they're clearly eating the denim, which is exactly what we wanted to see. Oh, there you go. Look, that leg's nearly gone. All right, well, I seem to be enjoying that. It's going to take some time. I would imagine the activity will increase as the weather warms up. I'm just going to keep it damp. I'll, um, I won't finish this video up now. We'll leave it another few months and see if the jeans have all totally gone. 
but clearly they're going to eat it there's going to be no issues there I'll be interested to see if this stitching is polyester and around with the belt loops uh, but the rest of it should disappear of course except the zipper and the button anyway we'll leave it go there's no rush the worms can enjoy their tucker and we'll check in a bit later on Alright guys, it's time for another update on this denim test. It's been a further three months since uh, I last filmed here. So let's have a look at what's going on. There's been plenty going in my yard. It's uh, where towards the end of spring, the grass and weeds have taken off. I've added another compost bin here since we last filmed. And we'll see if the denim jeans are disappearing. Well, there's still a fair bit of them there, but... Oh, all the legs gone. Okay, let's just peel this cover back a bit more. So, we've had a fair few wet days. It hasn't really dried out. And the big bedspread does keep it damp. And what have we got? Well, look, the worms are still getting into it. There you go. There's probably less than half of those jeans left. The legs... You can see how far they went down there. So the legs have all gone. There's a little bit of material around the middle there. Let's see what's happening at the back. It's double thickness here and it's extra thick around the waistline. Oh, the back looks like it's mostly gone. And what's left is falling apart. Ah, there you go. See, that was double thickness. That was around the pockets. So it looks like, oh, there you go, there you go, the stitching is still here. So that must be polyester. And that's what we're going to end up with, is just a heap of polyester strings. Once they eventually get through all that double thickness. And, of course, the brass pieces. Look, they've just about eaten the button off. And the back there is totally gone. And, yeah, we've got all those polyester strings so, super successful. The jeans are going to totally vanish. We will have to pull these polyester threads out. Um, but other than the metal hardware bits and a few little polyester strings, our jeans are going to totally vanish. So I might wind this one up here now. Um, it's going to take, well, what are we at? We've done six months plus a couple of weeks through winter though, it's certainly, they've probably increased their activity now the weather's warmed up. Uh, if I kept it damp throughout summer, these would certainly disappear totally, except for the aforementioned non-edible pieces. But I think we'll wind the video up now. It's been, we have a conclusion about what's happening. Uh, the worms are doing a great job. But if you do try and get rid of this stuff through worm farms or in spots in your garden, you need to be patient. It's clearly not going to happen overnight. And you will have some little residue bits to pick out. But there you go. Successful experiment. Hope you enjoyed that. Um, the brass bits, of course, will go in my brass bins, being a scrapper. And little polyester thread's going to have to go in the rubbish bin. But the rest of it will eventually end up in our veggie gardens as um, beautiful worm castings slash compost. So thanks for watching, guys. I'll catch you in the next video. Bye for now.